Security Level 2. Item Number SCP-6266. Object Class Safe. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-6266 is currently placed on Site 94's East Road. The road is blocked to all civilians with the exception of Level 3 staff who are allowed to operate SCP-6266 in order to ship any anonymous objects to other Foundation sites. Description SCP-6266 refers to a standard VCRSS traffic signal with a non-functioning amber light. When a vehicle transverses under SCP-6266 while it is displaying a green light, said vehicle and its contents will spontaneously transport after a bright white flash of light to a location of the driver's choice. Test Logs SCP-6266's research head is Dr. Michael Severeth. The majority of tests were conducted by him. Subject Researcher Michael Severeth Decide Location Site 19 Test Record Dr. Severeth waited for the green light to turn on and drove under SCP-6266. Subsequently, Dr. Severeth and his car were reported at Site-19's parking lot and no abnormalities were noticed. Subject D-88112 Decide Destination Site-94's parking while carrying a battery and another functional VCRSS signal. Test Record D-8812 drove under SCP-6266 while the anomaly's green light was on prior to manifesting on Site-94's parking lot. Suddenly, the signal within the car began duplicating until the car was buried under traffic signals. Dr. Severeth, noticing the danger of the situation, brought a scrambled reality anchor from Site-94 which caused all the stoplights to de-manifest except the original. D-8812 escaped the vehicle in time. Said stoplight was subsequently contained. Subject D-8812 Decide destination 3 Portlands Update Presumed disregarded by subject See below Test record D-8812 was asked to think about getting to 3 Portlands while driving under SCP-6266 After being spontaneously transported D-8812 and his car were transported 100 meters back onto the same road. He then tried to run over Site-94's research staff but couldn't succeed. The car was then disabled by a gunfire by MTFs on the spot, resulting in the car coming to a halt. D-8812 has been replaced in a cell at Site-94. Closing Statement I now understand that testing with this anomaly should only be made with normal staff, or if we find one, with a trustworthy D-Class. Dr. Severeth Subject Dr. Cameron Abbott Decide destination Site 22 parking while carrying a GPS Test record Dr. Abbott drove onto SCP-6266 while the green light was on and subsequently spawned within a free slot of Site-22's parking. GPS recorded that Dr. Abbott drove through Greenland via unknown means, crossed the North Pole, and somehow drove on to Site-22 and for the first got Russia. Closing Statement This is really interesting. It was first believed that the vehicle and passenger we materialized instantly at the desired destination. However, this test might indicate that subject vehicles have driven conventionally to reach their destinations. Despite this contradicting the instantaneous nature of the event, Dr. Severith. Okay, that's cool and all, but um, how the hell do I go back now? Dr. Abbott. Subject. Dr. Felix O.U. Decide destination. Ultric Street while carrying a mobile Scranton reality anchor. Test result. Dr. Felix O.U. drove onto SCP-6266 while its green light was on. Results were deemed inconclusive as Dr. Felix O.U.'s car began levitating and spinning prior to imploding and disappearing from reality. 
Dr. Felix O. used camera recorded him lying on a mangled sofa at the scrapyard. This location is currently unknown. Closing statement. It keeps getting weirder and weirder. Dr. Silverworth. Subject. D-8812. Desired destination unknown. Test record. D-8812 escaped a cell after a containment breach occurred at Site-94. He later stole the keys of Dr. Perk's car and, having gained knowledge of SCP-6266 via testing, subsequent escaped and drove under SCP-6266 prior to the car's disappearance. D-8812's current location is unknown. Subject, Dr. Anna Perk. Desired location. D-8812's location. Test record. Dr. Anna Perk and the Foundation test car were transported to Mercelet, France. Upon arriving, the car drove into D-8812 and killed him on impact. Subject, Dr. Eric Charles. Desired location. Unknown. Test record. Following a birthday party inside of Site-94, Dr. Charles was noticed driving around while being affected by alcohol. He drove three times around Site-94 in the fourth turn. SCP-6266's light changed to green, and Dr. Charles' car was spontaneously transported after driving under it, along with him. Dr. Charles was reported at an alcohol rehab center. Since the car was unusable following transportation, Dr. Charles called a friend for a ride home. Closing statement. Contrary to popular belief, this was an intentional test. I just wanted to see what would happen when someone affected by alcohol used SCP-6266. Now we know, thanks to me. Dr. Charles. Subject. Gullus Gullus Damascus. Domestic Chicken. The side location unknown. Test record. The chicken was placed on a remotely controllable car GPS trackable by SCP-6266's research team. After the green light, the car rode under the anomaly and spontaneously teleported. The car was then found in a chicken coop, where the car crashed into it, allowing several chickens to escape from the coop. No chickens were injured. Site-94 paid the coop's owner for all the damages. Closing statement. I must say, the chicken tried to save his brothers. It's funny and impressive at the same time. Dr. Severeth. Subject. Coes, AIC. Subject was provided with a professional physical robotic prototype adjusted for artificial intelligence. Desired location, unknown. Coes, AIC was asked to think about a place where it would want to be. Test record. As asked, cars drove the car and passed under the anomaly. However, no teleportation occurred. Instead, its artificial body was found inert and motionless. Cars was not found anywhere inside the prototype's memory card. Card's current state is unknown. Closing statement. Okay, um, update. Carlos AIC's consciousness was found in a microwave at the cafeteria of Site-94. It seems to love his new home. We now have a talking microwave. Great. Dr. Severeth. Subject. Researcher Michael Severeth. Desired destination. Going way back. Test record. Dr. Severeth was successfully transported spontaneously. However, Dr. Severeth and his car were not found anywhere and Dr. Severeff was reported missing soon after. A few days later, a new prehistoric art drawing dating back to 30,000 BC has been discovered, possibly related to testing with SCP-6266, or of the archaeologists present when the art was discovered were given Class C amnestics. Closing statement. Whether testing with SCP-6266 is now overruled to avoid any sort of temporal paradox. Delta T.